Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for what is their true feelings for you right now. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me or you would like to take my six week long uh, tarot course, which just talks about psychic protection, psychic development, and of course, how to read tarot and much, much more. All the information is in the description a box below. All right, and my beautiful darlings, the Eye of Zen is gonna be back up on Amazon. I know it's sold out right now, and I know a lot of you have been reaching out to me, and it's gonna be back up soon, okay? So we're gonna look at your love interest feelings, and I'm gonna do a Celtic cross for this because I wanna see what exactly is going on here with this situation. Let's still find out. All right, so how does Aquarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, how does Aquarius's love interest feel about Aquarius's romance plea? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, C. All right, let's take a look, Aquarius. All right, so we got the the current is the Four of Swords. The blockage is the Moon. The the what you're not seeing. Oh, excuse me. What you're not seeing about the situation is the King of Swords. The past is the Five of Pentacles. The head of the matter is the Page of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands is the near future. The advice is the Ten of Cups. The influence is the Knight of Wands. And then let's talk about the feelings. Eight of Cups. World card. Ten of Pentacles. Death card. Eight of Swords. Six of Wands. Ace of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck. This could be a connection that's a friendship or... There could be more than one person involved in the situation with the Three of Cups energy at the overall energy. Um, this could be a person you hang out with, with the Three of Cups energy. Let's find out. So I see that in the past, there was concerns about loss here, or being left out in the cold. Now, that whether that be you or the other person. But it was like someone felt really bad about it. And they were just like, I don't know how to open up, to deal with this situation, to come back into their life. Is there still an opportunity? Is there still a way in? Because I don't know what to do. So let's get more information about what this Five of Pentacles is about. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for the past for their person? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. You see. Yeah, someone ghosted someone, rejected someone. There was a lot of obsessions, addictions, okay? This was a divine intervention. It looks like there will be some communication here where there was some communication about new love. And someone felt that they deserved better, that the grass was greener on the other side, but they weren't being honest. There were some issues around money and finance and a lusting kind of energy when it came to a person from before. You knew this because you knew there were some vague meanings about the situation you were seeing about this because of the marriage. But there's a lot of worries and anxieties about the situation and uh, it caused a, an obstacle, a blockage. It caused some issues here. Now, what you're not seeing about this situation is that they're about to talk to you about some truths. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius involved with this situation. What is this truth that they want to speak to Aquarius about? What is this truth that they want to speak to Aquarius about? Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. They want to tell you the truth about why the breakup happened and about this relationship, this commitment to a spiritual awakening. They wanna tell you that they didn't have clarity, that they were uncertain, that they were confused. And that's why they put boundaries in place, that they distanced themselves, because they were at a crossroads about what to do. And secretly, they have been thinking about you, and they had a lot of regrets about the situation. So I see at the head of the matter, you're about to receive some kind of good news. They, they're planning on bringing some kind of communication to you. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long-term, okay? 
And I also see in the current that they're thinking about you with the Four of Swords energy. They cannot get you off their mind with the Four of Swords energy. There's constant thinking about you. And I see that the blockage or obstacle is the Moon card. So what has been going on with this situation, which causing the obstacle with this person, is their state of confusion. They, they got highly emotional. They didn't see things clearly. That's the obstacle or blockage here in the connection here with you. Um, so think about it like this. When I, when I look at the moon and, you know, let me give you an understanding and clarity of how I see the moon. All right. When I go on vacation, a lot of times I'll get there at night. Okay. And then I'll get there and I'll be looking. I'm like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, the moonlight shining all over the place and the ocean. Like, oh, it's gorgeous. And the city lights just, just shine the right way. Then you wake up in the morning and you're just like, okay. This is definitely not the place that I thought it was at night. Okay, so this person's a little this person is confused. They're they're not seeing things clearly. They're that's what's going on. There's this hidden peril and it's 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 the fact that they're overly emotional too, possibly. There's an over emotional kind of energy here. Because you can see this person's literally swimming in water here. It's like they don't know what's clear to them. They're not seeing, because they, even when you, when you look at water and you go underwater, things are distorted. There's a distortion that's causing the obstacle blockages here. Let's find out why. Why, why is there this distorted energy for Aquarius' love interest with the moon card energy? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, why? Okay, because there's a lot of drama going on. And... Uh, you know, there's like a lot of hidden meanings and a lot of, you know, uh, things that are going on with their, their feelings and they're just having uncertainty about this. And it, it's, it's more or less a lot of self-doubt too. Um, so they're doubting themselves. They've been seeing these hidden meanings. They've been seeing these synergies, but they're doubting it. They're like, because people tend to uh, try to see things and most people tend to see things in a logical way. Okay, the only reason you see this as a divine connection and they haven't seen it as a divine connection is because everyone comes to that conclusion in their own good time, right? And we're all at different vibrational levels and all at different places. So it's just a matter of them coming to that place that you're at. And when people are not at that place, they're just like, there's something about that person, but I, I, I don't know if I can trust it because I, I, you know, they don't have the experience. Even when I was, when I was younger, when I started getting visions and stuff, when I was like around 13, I was just like, what the heck is going on with me? I just, I remember just like feeling like reality is weird. I don't understand. Like in my man, like at the time there's, I didn't even know about manifestation. So, but I would think, am I creating reality or is, is, am I predicting reality? So that was the thing that I had to work out. So a lot of times when you are starting to get into the understanding of what's going on with reality and you're getting these weird things that happen to you, you don't exactly know what to do with it at first. You know, it takes time, progression, experience, wisdom to say, okay, now I see it clearly now. Now I know what this is. But your person was at the place where like, what is this? I, I don't know. I don't know how to deal with this. I don't know. Maybe I just need to distance myself from the situation. Maybe it's some spooky stuff, you know? Like, okay, so they just didn't understand, okay? They didn't understand, and they're still, they're starting to understand, they're starting to get it, but they're still kind of like, still not aware completely. Okay, so, because I even see in the near future, there's like still this like, all right, I'm a little bit like, uh, all right, I got my guard up here. I don't know what to do with this information. I, I'm open a little bit, but not so much because it's not like a full, uh, you know, fence here. It's it's it's, it's got it's got a fence, but it's not really really a, a well constructed fence. Okay, so you could break that fence. Okay, so but. Um, they're open. They're more open than they were before. So that they're still a little bit, they're still a little bit like, yeah. But I'm saying that your advice is saying, get ready to be happy. You're about to have your long-term happiness here. Ten of Cups energy. And there is an influence of passion coming in here, okay, with the Knight of Wands energy. Passion exercises coming in here as your influence. Okay, so let's now talk about your person's feelings here, Aquarius. They are like been avoiding the situation okay about walking away 
They feel like something needs to be accomplished or completed here in this connection when it comes to family, money, and long term here with the Ten of Pentacles energy before they can end this situation to come forward. They feel like they're being trapped in their situation, like their hands are tied, like they keep going around in circles here. They feel like you're pulling away from them and they want your attention because they feel like you are getting a lot of attention and they want you to face them. They want you to deal with them. They do want to get your attention because they have now, as I told you guys, have come to some kind of understanding, clarity, and aha about the connection. Okay. Ace of Swords. Now, the advice is saying Ten of Cups, but obviously we see in the immediate future here, they're thinking about you, they have thoughts of this, they want to come forward here with some good news, and what you're not seeing is they do want to speak to you about some of these things that they've been experiencing. But they're still in the immediate future, a little bit of a cautiousness. Um, so, but it shows me that just keep focusing on Ten of Cups, which is your long-term emotional happiness. So, because they've gotten the clarity now, okay? So uh, let's go further and let me get you guys some advice here. Can I have some advice for my experiences when it comes to their love connection for their highest best for the best possible outcome for them? And what should they do to do about the situation? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Chris, let's see. Okay, I know you're in this state of confusion, okay? But ask for support. So we have angels, guardian angels all around us, okay? Okay, uh, however, beings of the light are not going to intervene, step in, unless you ask for it. So if you feel like you need help with this situation, prayers can help with the situation, okay? Ask for it. Stay grounded here. You are worthy, so you gotta stay in that place of receiving, because remember, it's an energy game, we're mirroring people, so we're mirroring each other, if you're in that scarcity mindset, you don't feel like you, you deserve something, then that's exactly what the universe is going to give you. Stay in that place of receiving. Be a receiver, like a flower. Flowers don't go around and chase bees. The bees go after the flowers. Okay, Aquarius, be a flower. You're not the bee. You are the flower. Be the receiver. Be worthy. Stay in that state of receiving. When it comes to the sense of pause right now, believe me, you're going to be freed from this situation. Something's going to come to light. There is changes coming. Just go within. Now, bring the love to you. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I love you. Give yourself a big old hug. Like, oh God, I love you so much. Feel that love welling inside of you, okay? Go out and enjoy yourself. Go walk around in nature. Do whatever you got to do to ground yourself to get caught up in your life. Because that's what you got to do. You got to reverse this energy. This energy right now is your, if you're, if you're going like this, then it's going to push it away. Pull it back. Call your power back. Be in the receiving mode and know you are worthy of it. Okay. All right, my beautiful Aquarius says, I love you guys so much. If you guys look at this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, my beautiful darlings, I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. So if you resonate, you claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let's see who made it to the end of this video. Okay. If you claim this message, put divine connection, twin flame, soulmate in the comments below. I want to see who made it to the end of this video. Who is claiming this message? I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Go check out your monthlies. It's a very interesting month for you guys for the month of March. It's up and available for you guys to watch right now. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.